Pastor Penny Hogan, and I'm here in Westside's barn with Christina and Layla Dyer to learn more about Family Promise through their eyes as volunteers. It's great to have you both here today. Thanks for your time. Could you tell us a little bit about your experience with Family Promise and what continues to draw you back? Sure. Um, so our family volunteered for Family Promise through um, Westside about four to five times over the past few years. And it was a great family ex experience for us as to volunteer. And what, we provided dinner on Sunday nights, and we were always Sunday. I think we were always the, the, the welcome crew. Oh, they were great. coming in. It was their first day here um, at the barn for the week. So we would come a little early. We would bring food, lots of foods, all the kids' favorites. We'd always have lasagna, and there was always pizza in there, and all the favorite desserts. And then our job, really, as volunteers was to have fun with them, make them feel comfortable, um, you know, the, it, there always seemed to be kids that were Layla and Emma's age, and so um, they would take on playing with them, we would bring games and books, and uh, we would chat and have dinner, just like a nice dinner with people that you were getting to know. One of the things that I really liked about it is it was a chance for our, us to do that as a family, mm -hmm. and it brought up the conversation of why um, it's important to do this as a family and why it's important that it's a priority for Westside to support an organization like this. Because I remember when, um, you know, we started and the girls would ask, well, why don't these families have a home? Mm. And it's a very valid question. And it brought up the things that I wanted them to understand is that, you know, sometimes families have to choose between buying food or paying the rent or one thing could happen to them and they you know don't have a home anymore so this organization was so awesome because it fills that gap and it keeps them safe and it keeps them going so they're not homeless they have a system that really works and they've targeted what the needs really are like the immediate needs of housing and food but also the needs of the next step of getting you to where you need to be to have um, a little bit of something steady going so you can then step back and take off some of that pressure. That's what I love about it because it's just a hard, it's just really hard for, for some of these families. So I just, I, it's very unique. I don't think there's very many organizations that do that and I love that about it. Can you tell us more about your experience and inspiration to bring your girls and husband along? It's really hard sometimes to find community service opportunities if your kids are a little bit younger. Mm -hmm. So um, we really looked at it as a way, an opportunity to bring the girls, talk about why Westside's doing this, why it's important to support organizations like this, why that is important to support people that are in need in that gap and um, and come together. And then it was just so much fun that we wanted to keep doing it. I mean, it really was um, really like a, a fun play date. We tried to make it normal for the kids that they, you know, were able to immediately be friends and go play. Because I don't, I don't know if those kids have that opportunity very often. Um, we would take them outside and we'll, you know, we made it like a field day. We would play soccer and tag. Well, the, the parents may be in here, the, the moms may be in here, but that's okay because that gave them time to downtime, which I, I, another thing I thought about when we were doing this is, you know, they don't have the luxury of a babysitter. You don't have that time, that downtime that you need as a parent. So that was another thing that we ended up doing. We were like, let's go play outside. Let the moms have a break. And, you know, it's just a really good experience to give back and see a bigger picture. Um, and I think we had a lot of fun doing it, right? Layla, can you tell us about your experience playing with these children and what is it that you love most about serving with Family Promise and that inspires you to continue to serve? So I really liked it when all we were playing outside with the kids. It was really fun just to get to know with them, play with them because like as you said, like sometimes they, they might not get that experience. Yeah. So it was fun to just play with them. It was just really nice. I also liked like talking to them, getting to know them. It was just really fun because it was like a big play date and like we were all just having a lot of fun. It was like no, it didn't matter like if you were homeless or not. Like you were, we were just having fun. You were just hanging out with kids, right? Being kids together. 
I'd like to thank Christina and Layla for being here today and sharing their experience as volunteers with Family Promise. And I hope you'll join me in supporting our Lenten mission campaign to raise $40,000 by Easter for Family Promise, $1,000 for every day during the 40 days of Lent. Whatever you're able to give and however you're able to give, we thank you for your generosity.